All righty, we're alive. Well, good deal. Hey, everyone, this is Christopher Harold, and hey, what a crazy, crazy day, but hey, what an awesome day. Uh, this webinar here, if, you, if, you, if you're here live, you know that we, we got delayed by 30 minutes. I got hit with a virus, and, and I had 950 infections on my computer. Bananas. Crazy, I know. So we got delayed by 30 minutes. So, but some of you are here live still. You hung out with me. Uh, I mean, I appreciate you hanging in there and not taking off and turning on the boob tube or, you know, watching some of us on TV or floating around. But uh, what I'm going to ask you to do right now is if, if you have any other windows open on your computer, if you're on Facebook right now, just shut down Facebook and say, put a post of, hey, I'm about to do some, uh, some, some training with Christopher Harrell on YouTube and video marketing. So shut down your Facebook. Uh, close out your email address, close all that stuff out because the information I'm going to share with you, you kind of need to put your undivided attention to, especially if you're serious about growing your business. And, and I hope that you are or you wouldn't be here. And, and those of you alive, you wouldn't have hung out and waited 30 minutes, you know, uh, as well. So I definitely appreciate you guys hanging out. I'm still getting messages from people uh, about this. So we had a delay, but people are still hopping on. So uh, we're going to get started, and I thank you. I thank you again for hanging out with me. I'm, I'm, I'm about to turn my phone off, so we don't. I don't get disturbed, even though we had a delay. So if you're watching the recording of this, you're lucky because I wasn't going was not going to leave a recording. I was going to just have this live for the people who attended the event. But since we had a delay, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, do a recording for some people who chose to go watch the TV. <laughs> All right, but let me put my phone on uh, vibrate here, and we're going to get started. Okay. Oops. Hold on a second here. Awesome. All right, well, thank you who are here. And uh, as you see on the screen here, the information I'm going to share with you tonight is, I think, pretty powerful. Uh, as information that I know I have used personally in my business, information that I know that if you apply to what, whatever business you're in or whatever you might be doing, it can help you grow as well. So um, let me uh, minimize some things on my screen here so I can get started. And people are still hopping on, which is cool, after the 30-plus minute delay. So, um, so here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going uh, to turn my screen capture page off so you can see my screen totally. Again, close out your windows. If you got Facebook open, close out Facebook. Tell me about to do some YouTube training with me. Close out your email, and let's get started. So I'm going to turn off my screen here, but I will be able to see you raise your hands if you got questions and things of that nature. So I'm about to take off, all right? People can see your screen. Okay, let me turn my screen off, my camera off. All right, I just disappeared. Okay, so... um. The number one way to create the perfect YouTube video that generates traffic, leads, and sales. That is what we are going to discuss tonight. And I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked. And it's going to take more than 900. It's going to take more than 950 viruses to stop me, baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to do something better than that. So, <laughs> all right here. So it's crazy screen. Hold on a second. Trying to get this stuff here out, out, out my way so I can see. Okay, good deal. All righty. So I am Christopher Harrell. They call me the Freedom Chaser. I call Freedom Chaser. Um, I have a team of people I work with called Freedom Chasers as well. Uh, I'm all about lifestyle marketing and uh, being able to, uh, you know, everyone chase their dream, which is freedom, you know. And so, um, so let's get into this slideshow tonight. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this is what to expect tonight. First, I'm telling you a little bit about myself because you, you won't be asking yourself. Some of you know me. Some of you already know my story. And some of you may not. It's, it's maybe the first time that you and I have ever in interacted. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself as well so you can see why you should listen to me. And then we're going to get into tonight's training. You know, no fluff. We're going to get right into it. And if you... You know, when you registered that, I said I was going to be sharing a special secret video traffic strategy for those of you who just attended. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share 
a, a secret ninja strategy to get yourself a lot of views really, really fast. All right, so let's talk about myself real quick. Those of you who already know me, you heard my story before, just bear with me, but there's a, there are new people who are watching this who haven't, so. But this is myself here and my, my lovely wife, Shalon, and our two kids, uh, Brianna and Josiah. And actually, right now, we're expecting a third child. Uh, about three months, around May 19th, May 20th, we're expecting a third child, which should be, uh, God willing, uh, we find out he's going to be a boy, so God willing, he'll be here in about three and a half months or whatnot. And so, but a little bit about myself. I am an Air Force veteran. Uh, I actually joined the Air Force from around 92 to 2000. I was stationed at a couple of different bases uh, all across the world. Um, and in California, where actually where I met my wife as well. So uh, I actually am an Air Force vet. And I got my first taste of entrepreneurship back in 1998 when I decided to get involved with the music business. Um, I got my water too, so forgive me. I'll be drinking water every now and then. But yeah, I got started in music business back in 1998. I was in it pretty hard for about 12 years. Uh, if you check online, if you Google Contagious Sounds with a K or Trill Notes, T R I L N O T E Z, uh, you will see some stuff about us. We had a record deal in 05 to come in Nashville. We won some music awards out in Los Angeles. As well, released a couple of CDs. I produced some tracks for the Sacramento Kings, and look, we have some good regional success. Uh, Twelve years, I got I got kind of burnt out with the music business because it was up and down, it was up and down, and during that span, I had to, I actually had to take on certain jobs. So, uh, you know, most folks are shocked, but no, I had to take on certain jobs. So, uh, I got involved in outside sales in 2005. Uh, I was actually was selling security systems with one company, but I've sold a lot of, I've sold security systems, I've sold floors for uh, companies, I've sold roofs, uh, I even tried to sell cars for a week, but I quit that because I couldn't stand that. Uh, what else have I sold? I sold a lot of stuff. I can't even remember, but but yeah, I, but so I, I've sold a lot of different things in sales. So I got involved in 05 because the music industry income was just too up and down. And I could not, I could not function at a nine to five job. Those jobs that I had, I had to go into an office and be there for like 8, eight o'clock to 5 o'clock. I got fired from because I couldn't function being stuck in a cubicle all freaking day long. So I it would eventually get fired because I was working on my business there. So, um, But in 08, I actually went and launched my first member site. Uh, it was a music, uh, I, I did a, a couple of music business sites. Actually, one was launched on election day night, which was pretty cool. I had a really big launch for that. But I launched it on election day night in uh, 2008. It was a membership site where people would go there and purchase music from me for my production of songs, things of that nature. And I know I actually created another membership site where people would go and purchase uh, music business courses. I made some music business courses, me and a couple other partners, and uh, we actually were selling those online. So I kind of got my first taste of internet marketing around that time. Um, now, in addition, I got involved in uh, real estate investing. As, as I mentioned, uh, around 2010 is when I kind of took a sabbatical from the music business. I um, was burnt out with it, the grind up and down with it, and I was married. Uh, 2010, you know, my son Josiah was born in 2010, and we had two kids, you know, and and just needed something a little more stable. And I, and I always wanted to get in real estate investing. That was something that I desired even uh, around the early 2000s. But I never, never did. You know, there's no excuse. I bought courses, like Cards and Sheets course around 2005. But I never did anything with it, you know. And, and you know, most of us can probably can relate to opportunities that are right in front of our face. We just don't take advantage of something. So whatever reason, that's the fear of there's no 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 belief in ourselves, but uh, I got involved in real estate investing as a wholesale investor. I dropped I, I, I dropped about twenty thousand dollars into my education. I hired a couple of mentors, and uh, that was all the money I had. I had about twenty grand, and I didn't have any money to buy property, so I had to wholesale. And if anyone knows anything about wholesale investing, is that you actually just a middle person. You know, you uh, you actually can do quick flip on properties. You can buy and sell. And uh, real estate with no money, 
money on money and cash and credit, but uh, it's, it's a grind. It really is a grind. Uh, you, you need to put an offer like on 30 homes because people want to accept it. Uh, the set, you know your commissions could be anywhere from about a thousand bucks to five thousand bucks per pop, but it's it's really a grind. It's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of cold calling and prospecting involved with it, and it, it was it, it was a grind. You know, I, I, even though I made money from it, uh, I would rather be the end investor instead of the middleman. So it, it was not very desirable for a long period of time, but I did it for a couple of years, uh, and. I'm also a licensed minister as well. So, and I became an internet marketer in August of 2012. Um, the real estate business was kind of wearing on me. As I, wholesaling was wearing on me. Uh, the, it was hard to find deals. We had to deal with the crash. Um, I had a lot going on. I had foreclosure. We, we had lost a home in California. Uh, we lived in California up until 2009. And there was a lot going on, and uh, I, I needed something else, so I actually came online in August, August 2012. And I had to learn to get into the art of turning setbacks into comebacks. Now, these are some of the things that I, I've been through in the last couple of years. So, as I mentioned, went through a foreclosure. We had a property in California that got hit with the crash, and we got hit pretty hard. So we went through foreclosure. Several times in 2011, 2012, I went through zero, zero dollars in the bank. I mean, I can remember it got so bad that I had to borrow money. I had to borrow 50 bucks from my sister just to buy some bread from Walmart and just to pay my $38 non sufficient fee that my bank hit me up with because, you know, once you go below a certain amount, you're in the negative. They hit you with their NSF fee. It was really bad, and this happened several times in 11 and 12. Um, as I mentioned, I struggled with even a job. Every job I've ever had, I pretty much was fired from. Uh, even the, even my outside sales positions, I eventually got fired from them jobs, except the one that I quit, which was selling cars, but I couldn't stand that. Because my focus has always been on entrepreneurship. Uh, the reason why I was getting fired was because I wasn't good. I was a top salesman in the, every company that I've been in. I won trips to Bahamas and Vegas and all kinds of other, other exotic places. I just could not get with working for someone, someone else. It just was not, not in my DNA. So I clashed with management. I didn't agree with the way they ran their business, the way they you know, structured things. And I always work on my business. And eventually those two things would clash and you know, end up getting let go. And in 2012, in between me getting started online and real estate investing, I took on being a funding broker. Um, the reason why, as I mentioned before, I, I was getting burnt out with real estate, with wholesale investing. It was too much of a grind. The commissions were too small. They were too far and few in between. And so I decided to be a funding broker. Uh, what that is, one of my partners who I was doing wholesale investing with turned me on to it. And um, essentially, we were just brokers. We were just middlemen. And we had a connection with you know, these private investors out of Jerusalem. These guys are multi-millionaires, and, and they're looking to you know lend their money out, with, you know, with a very high interest rate for people who need money. And all these projects were five million dollars or more. So she and I took on about a hundred clients in 2012, and uh, all these deals was five million dollar deals, or ten million dollar deals, or fifty million dollar deals. We even had one at uh, a billion dollars. It was a, uh, a granite mine out of Canada. And these were like gold mines, granite mines, minerals, oil wells, uh, huge real estate development projects like resorts, or huge, huge apartment complexes, you know, it's about $5 million and up, all, all the way up to a billion dollars. And out of the 100 clients that we had, guess how many deals we closed? Zero, zero, not a single deal closed. And I took the liberty to not <laughs> work a job because I just knew that one of my deals was going to close and I put us about $31,000 in debt. Actually, about $35,000. This number is actually lower because I was charging everything on credit cards, my light bill, grocery bills, because I just knew out of 100 deals, we were scheduled to get in the work on 1% to 3% on these deals that, hey, one deal closed, we're set. And we had about 
four or five that actually came close to closing at the closing table and they fell through. Are you talking about total devastation? Uh, I went through total devastation because I put my family in debt. I chose not to work a job because I couldn't stand working a job because I believe, you know, that one of these deals were close and it didn't happen. So, so you're talking about I had strain in my marriage, uh, strain with my family. My family was mad at me, you know, because I couldn't take care of my kids. It, it, it was a lot of strain going on. And, but I've been able to turn that set back into a combat. Uh, I, I joined the uh, online marketing company where I became one of the top 200 marketers there out of about 150,000 uh, people. I became a, a leader in my business in a short amount of time. As I, as I told you, I just started in August of 2012 as an online marketer. And I've made over $3,050 in a single day online. I mean, I can remember before, $3,000 was like a monthly income. I've made that uh, and over, <laughs> I've made over that in a single day online. And so I've learned how to turn setbacks into comebacks. And this year, isn't that cool? Uh, I figured it out today. I saw oh, that's pretty cool. But here's some more proof of what I've been able to do uh, online. This is a, a three thousand dollar day. That's one of the rankings that I was ranked actually one sixty eight out of like one hundred fifty thousand people. Um, this is a, a, some other income. I, I had so many I can't show you all these other incomes. I've been able to create three or four income streams as an online marketer. And these are different income streams I've been able to create. In a short amount of time I've been online, it's just more proof of income coming in. These are all my different websites that I've created online. Uh, there's this different commission notifications coming into my phone. Don't worry about the company. This is just shows you proof of what I'm going to do online. Uh, here, I've actually made 13 commissions in four days here. Recently, uh, there's some more income coming in. There's more proof. So I wanted to show you this so you can see that I'm not just someone blowing smoke that um there's more. This is really nice. This actually I deposited this on Christmas Eve. Uh two thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollar deposited <laughs> from my line. That was pretty awesome there. Uh, and I started, like I told you, in August twenty twelve. And I when I got this is my first month ever as an online affiliate. And I was making money there. So, so it's been about 18 months as an online marketer. I've had success pretty much since I started. I don't have the horror story. Most people been trying to do this for four or five years, but I had pretty much a lot of success, you know, as, as a newbie. And I'm still learning and growing. But so I've been had success financially. And in addition, I've been able to people call me a leads monster or a traffic monster. I've been able to generate a lot of leads. And this does some proof that leads that I actually get to my uh, account every single day. Uh, if you're not getting at least 15 to 20 leads per day in your business, you really don't have a business because leads are the lifeblood of, of, of your business. And as you see here, I'm averaging, uh, I mean, this is like, this, this is what I get on uh, pretty much on a daily basis. I mean, and I get these from different ways as, as I'm going to share with you, but these are just some proof. Uh, the most leads I got in one one day so far is like 120. Um, but if you're not averaging at least 15 to 20 a day, some folks say 10, but I say 15 to 20. Because the bottom line is that if you have no leads, you know, you have no people. If you have no people, you have no sales. If you have no sales, you have no business. So this and I, and I, this is just some. I can show you this every single day. I can show you what I even had today. I just had time to put it on here, but this is what I get pretty much on a regular basis of new people coming to my website asking for information about my business. So this is just, you know, proof that what I'm going to share with you that I, this is proof to validate that I'm someone you might want to listen to. And so I've made a lot of sales online, in, you know, in different programs really fast. And it's really because of the information I'm about to share with you tonight. And here's the deal. If I can do this, so can you. I'm not a guru. I'm only going to make this 18 months. So I'm not a guru. And so, but if I can do this, 
so can you. So let's get into it. So tonight's training, let me get some water. But I'm going to talk about the number one way, the number one way. This is high level stuff. To create the perfect YouTube video that generates traffic, leads, and sales. Now, first you'll be asking, why YouTube? Because there are you know, there are other video channels out there. There's Vimeo, there's Daily Motion, there's a bunch of Meta Cafe. There are a lot of other video options out there. YouTube is not the only video channel out there. But why YouTube? Well, number one, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Second only to Google. It has one billion. That's a billion with the B, not in, not million with the M. It has one billion monthly users. The population is only what six or seven billion. So you tell me you got one sixth or one seventh of the population on YouTube. One billion monthly users, and over four billion with a B hours of videos watched per month. Four billion hours of video watched every single month on YouTube. And YouTube has a higher conversion than Google, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, etc. So you can see why <laughs> YouTube is a viable channel to be on, especially if you're in the home business arena. So that's why YouTube. Now, but here lies the problem. Here lies the problem. The average person does not know how to use it for business. I've seen some stuff on YouTube. I'll be like, whoa, wow, really? So there are lots of problems. And also, the average person does not know how to create a video that can generate leads, traffic, and sales. There's a certain technique that goes into creating a video that can produce leads, traffic. I just showed you the leads and traffic and sales that, that, that I get. I get those, uh, I have some paid traffic, plus I get those from YouTube. I make tons of sales from YouTube. So a lot of my traffic and sales I get also from YouTube. So, but the average person does not know how to create a video that generates these traffic and sales. They just put some on, if they do it, and, and, and it's crap. And it doesn't convert and they wonder why. So, but you, you smart, once you hung out 30 minutes was watching this live, because of the delays tonight, you are about to be blessed and you are about to be rewarded for hanging out. Now, here are a couple. Now, I have a few YouTube channels. Here are two of them. As you see, one, this here, my Christopher Harold channel is what I use for my online marketing company. And I have a couple of, I, I even have one I did for real estate. I have one that I did for my uh, music artist stuff. But this is one, as you see here, this one has not been up very long. I got over 100,000 views on this with 383 subscribers. And this is another one. This is one that I did for my music business courses, and it's still up to this day. That's what I love about this stuff. People still go here to this day and still go buy stuff, which is cool. And this one has 435 subscribers. I'm sure those ones are my music name. And 110,000 views. So I think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so... This is more proof why you should listen to me. But yeah, this is currently what I have right now. So let's get into this. Uh, are you ready? If, you, if, if you're ready, tell me you're ready. All right. If, if, if you're ready over there, ladies and gentlemen, tell me that you're ready. Let, let me see you say you're ready. If you're ready, if you're ready, let me see you, let me see you type in that you're ready. Or raise your hand if you're ready. We, we, we about to get into this now. Y'all hung out. Y'all waited a long time. We about to get into this. All right, all right. Kendra got her hand up. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else ready? All right. Well, good deal. All right. I see Jane. Okay. Jennifer. Okay, good deal. Well, look, we're going to get into this. So some of y'all are ready. Some of y'all been waiting all night. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to break this down, though, in five parts. Here. Because, see, if you can understand these five parts, the five strategies, the five techniques, you can master YouTube. So this is the number one way to create the perfect YouTube video that generates traffic leads and sales. Here we go. Number one is you have to 
break state. You probably, probably saying, what the heck is break state, right? Break state is simply you have to open up by getting your audience attention. We, when you see this picture here, what does that do? Bam! That should get your attention, right? I actually done videos with that. And, 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 and at first, I didn't want to do it. At first, I was too concerned about what people might think. But I said, you know what? I'm in control of this, you know? And, 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 and I felt good doing it, and I did it. And you know what? When I do videos like this here, my video views skyrocket. Why? Because this is, this is a intention get, an attention getter. You got to be able to break people's state. You know, people are uh, zombies. Like, when I told you, you know, that you should close out your Facebook page and close out your email and just focus on this for the next few minutes, think about it. Your viewer has about 15 screens open when they, if, you know, if they find you. You know, people are so much, you know, trying to multitask today. You got to be able to get their attention from the beginning. And if, if you cannot get their attention from the beginning, you know what? They're going to click off your video and go watch someone else. I mean, so you, you got to come up with a, a attention getter headlines. A, a the first phrase you should say should be something that can grab your attention. It can be something that you wear. It can be something, you know, but something that you wear, something that you say. I mean, uh, a typical one that we always uh, say sometimes is, is, is looking crazy and say, hey, you smell popcorn? I mean, that's small, but that gets people attention because they're like, what the heck is this person talking about? Smelling popcorn. I mean, I've I seen some people even expel gas, you know, I'm not telling you this, you know, the fart on the thing, but I see people, but it's like, do what you got to do to work, to break the ice, you know, to, to get the attention of your, uh, of your viewer because they're so distracted, their mind is all elsewhere, and so when they click on your video, you need to be able to give them some, give them some from the beginning that they make them say, you know what, this, this lady, she looks really peculiar, and you know what, this fellow looks mighty interesting. Let me hear what they got to say. So do what you got to do to break state. If it's a loud bang, if you're smacking something, I, I've done some. I smacked water. I've done drinking water. I threw the water bottle at, 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 the, at the camera. I've done all kinds of crazy stuff. The bottom line is that you got to be able to break state because people are having their ADD syndrome, and you got to be able to get their attention. So number one, break state. That is so crucial. Number two, you got to build rapport. Now, one thing about it, if you're in business, you're in sales. So a lot of people don't want to be in business. You know, uh, they they want to, you know, make money, but they don't want to make sales. Well, I'm sorry. You got to make sales and make money. So how do you build rapport online? Now, I got a, I got a backline outside of sales. You know, so I have a huge advantage to build a report because I did an in-home appointment. So when I went to go visit people, you know, I knew that I had to talk to them as a friend. If I expected these folks to buy from me, number one, I, 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 I had to let them know. Number one, people have their guards up. They have these huge shields up, you know, because they think everybody trying to sell them something. You know, their mind said, I'm not buying, I'm not buying, I'm not buying, I'm not buying. Well, you got to be able to talk to people as a friend. You know, kind of like I'm doing with you right now. You know, I can't physically see you, but I'm talking to you as if, you know, you're one of my homeboys or my homegirls. I mean, because it's about building rapport. I told you a little bit about my life, so so, so you can let your guard down. You know, so that way you can see a piece of me. At, at the beginning, I had the camera on, so you actually could physically see me talk to you. You know, so it's about building rapport. So online, you got to be able to talk to people as a friend. You know, and here's another neat thing that you have to you have to learn to talk to one person. Don't talk to the masses. Talk to one person. So when you so so when you're speaking and you're looking into that camera, act like you're talking to your best friend. I like you talking to your spouse. I like you talking to your relative. And talk to one person. Build rapport. Tell a little bit about yourself. Don't be afraid. To see, I will, I'm not afraid to tell folks what the heck I've been through. You know, being broke and non sufficient funds and foreclosures and uh, getting fired from every job I've had. You know, and going from business to business. I, you know, because that's that's my story. 
That's my story. So don't be ashamed of your past. People respect those who are not front because there are a lot of people online that they go front. They act like they got everything together and they don't. Be real, be genuine, and that breaks down the wall for people to trust you. Because why? As one thing I learned in sales, and the same thing goes for online marketing as well, is that people do business with those who they know, like, and trust. And the way that you can have people like you with, with YouTube is by building rapport, by talking to them as a friend, not as a, not, not as a salesperson, not as a marketer, but just be open, let them know about your life. Let them, if, if you got kids, let them know about your kids. But build rapport. That is key to your success. And so many people miss it. They go right to selling, they go right to pitching, and they wonder why they don't make any sales. It's because they're missing these fundamental steps that you're getting tonight. I promise you, what you're getting tonight is stuff that I paid thousands of dollars to learn. No lie, no BS. And so if you if you use this information, it works. I showed you my statistics, I showed you my proof, it works. So real report, it is key. No, I like that. That was cool, huh? All right. Now, the third thing you have to do, now, is, is this good so far? I'm kind of jumping the gun, but but is, is this good? Is this, I see somebody got their hand raised. Oh, yeah, we're going to do questions in a minute, but uh, is this good so far? Okay. Somebody got their hand raised, but I don't see a question, so. Okay, so if this is good, Awesome, awesome, okay. If y'all like this, just let me know if you like it. Cool, cool, okay. I'm seeing the, I'm seeing the thumbs up or the hands raised. Uh, awesome, awesome. Good deal, all right. Yes, good, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool, cool, okay, good deal. Let's, let's keep it moving then, uh, let's keep it moving. All right, so the third thing, as you saw, is that you got to be able to express pain. You gotta be able to express pain. If if if, if you got a product or service, you gotta be able to talk to people's pain. I mean, bottom line is that you gotta know what the heck you're talking about. I mean, what are you going to talk about? You know, what exactly are you going to talk about? You know, don't just don't just turn on your camera and get the rambling. Now, I've done that several times, and it, sometimes it works. You can get you know leads and sales from that. But some, but but what I'm doing more of now. Is, is, is charting out my videos. They're, they're strategic now. You know, it's not just me turning on the camera and rambling unless I'm mad about something, unless something's on my mind. And I may just share some, but you gotta be able to express pain. You know, uh, why is that? Because see, pain is a great motivator. Pain is a great motivator. Uh, just last week, I actually did a video. It should be on my channel. But last, last week, I was suffering with the uh, status infection. Now, I'm the type of individual, I don't go to the doctor unless I have to. You know, last year, I did go to the emergency room. cost me like six, six grand. You know, like I said, because, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't get benefits. I'm not an employee or anything like that. But uh, uh, I had a sinus infection last week, and it was killing me. You know, and, and, and I take herbs. You know, I'm, I'm a natural person. I take uh, echinacea, uh, uh, vitamin, all this, you know, vitamin C and all this. And, and, and it works because I don't get sick because most people most people get sick a lot. You know, I don't get the flu shot or that stuff. But last week, you know, we had crazy weather. You know, I live in Dallas, by the way, and it was just it was just really cold. And the pain was getting worse and worse and like worse. Further. And it, it, I, I got to the point where I had to buy down and go to the pharmacy and buy some better medicine. Now, I had to go to Walgreens. I went in there and asked for the strongest stuff they have to release, you know, sinus, you know, for sinus infection. Because that pain was too much. That pain was, 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 was almost unbearable, you know. I mean, unbearable. I, I did all I could naturally. And I could have did some more, but I didn't, I, could, I, didn't, I didn't have time. So I went there. Because why? The pain was like on a scale of 10. It's this pain scale we're looking at right now. But the same thing happens with people out there. 
We all have a different pain threshold, and we are all at different levels. One thing I've learned about marketing and about sales is that once someone has had enough pain in their business or in their life, and, and, and they see you as someone that can relieve that pain, they will finally make a decision to do business with you. But if they have not made a decision to do business with you yet, they, they haven't suffered enough. I mean, some people got to hit rock bottom. Some people got their business got to pretty much be ready to go out of business. Some people, have, you know, some people just like their pain threshold is not at a 10 yet. It's like at this two or four. It's neutral. They know it's a pain there. You know, it's kind of like a root canal. You know, you, you get a root canal, you, you feel it coming. You know, it starts off as a two or a four, but it, it gradually increases. And once once it hit a ten, what you gonna do? You're gonna take your butt to the dentist. Because why wow, it's too much pain, it's unbearable. But the same thing is, is with people. Some people root canals but not painful enough. But you gotta be able to express that pain in the video. You got to be able to talk to their pain. Why? Because that's how you're going to relate to them. Because we all got something going on. We just at different levels. Someone's at level zero, some at level two, some at level four, some at level six, some at level eight, some at level ten. That's for you to be able to figure out what level they are. You speak to that particular level. So you got to be able to express pain. I'm telling you, pain is a great motivator. To me, I think it's the greatest motivator. You would think that... Uh, Success was, but I think pain is the greatest motivator. Because sometimes you gotta have just so so much pain for you to finally do what? Look for a solution. Which is the fourth thing. You have to be that one who can provide a solution. Why? Because as I told you last week, I needed some what? Pain relief. And I took an exit that says, salute you, Vic, exit right to, right, right to Walgreens, because my sinus was killing me. And so I had to go and get some relief. I went in there and bought some Advil stuff they had, like, you know, on the you know, back shelf. I had to get my license, and I got this pseudo stuff in. That's the strongest stuff they said they had without, you know, that I didn't need a prescription for. And you know what? It worked. And I thank God for it. Now, I don't like taking drugs, but I couldn't take no more pain. And I didn't feel like going to the bear in a health food store or a vitamin store to try and find some natural herbs. I need an immediate relief. So you got to be able to provide the same thing. Give them immediate relief. And so you got to be able to provide a solution. Once you speak to the pain, now is you are the solution provider now. Because it does no good to speak to the pain if you can't solve the problem. What's the point? What's the point of going to a darn dentist if he can't remove the root canal? What's the point of going to the doctor if he can't help, help you with your ailments? What's the point of someone buying your product or service if it can't alleviate the pain in their life or business? And that's something that I do to my business. When I have people grow their business, you know, is that I, you know, I, I make sure they can see I have a solution to your pain in your business right now or a pain in your, your, your bank account right now, or a pain in your life right now. I have a solution for that, and I can help fix that. And you got to be that pain relief. you got to be that Advil. you got to be that, that prescription medicine. you got to be that doctor for them. And you got to be able to provide that solution for them. So, 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 so you see all this stuff falls into play. And, and this is... If you construct your videos with this particular formula, this is like the formula. If you construct your videos with this formula, I guarantee you, you're going to get way more traffic, way more leads, and way more sales. And you'll be coming back and thank you. I know you will. So be the solution provider. Because you know what? The richest people in the world are what? Solution providers. They solve problems. Problem solvers. That's what an entrepreneur is. An entrepreneur is a what? Problem solver. So you got to figure out the problem and you got to be able to solve it for your consumer or customer. And the fifth thing, and definitely not last but not least, and so many folks missed it, I mean so many folks missed this here, is that call to action. You would be shocked at the videos that you see. 
online where people go through all <laughs> the, the, the heartache of making a beautiful video. They professionally edit it. They don't spend they spend five hundred dollars to get someone to come out and do a professional job with a video. And they spent ten days on doing editing and professional graphics and it looks beautiful. But they don't even put a call to action. What's a call to action? Simply, what do you want them to do next? As you went through everything we've covered tonight, what do you want them to do next? I mean, and there are many different calls to actions. You can say, buy now, or sign up here today, or you want to learn more about this, or go to my blog here, or go to my website here, or go download this ebook here, or, or you know, do this here. I mean, these are all different kinds of calls to actions that you should give your audience, your viewer. And you be, this, this is like what we learned in sales. It's asking for the business. And, and one thing I learned about the psychology of sales and the psychology of people is that people love to be told what to do. Yes, they do. People love to be told what to do. But the problem is that 95% of Entrepreneurs, ninety-five percent of business owners, ninety-five percent of salespeople, people out there who who try to provide a service or a product don't know how to do a proper call to action. They don't ask for the business, and they wonder why they struggle. They wonder why they struggle. So you got to have a powerful, powerful call to action. Tell them what you want them to do next, and they'll do it. If you follow the formula that I gave, if you follow this formula that I gave you today. I promise you, you get more traffic, more leads, and more sales. Isn't that awesome? Isn't, I mean, isn't that awesome? Now, okay, let me, let me check see if I have any questions or comments so far. I see a hand raised, hand raised, hand raised. Isn't that good stuff? Isn't that good? And we're not done yet. I, I'm about to show you this, this, this secret weapon with a secret strategy that's a bonus because I um, I've given you the five ways, but let me uh, get this. Isn't that cool? Is, 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 I mean, if, if, yeah. are you getting anything out of this tonight? Is this, this been worth the wait? Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, I see that. See a hand raised. Okay, okay. See a question. Is that a question? If you got a question, I, I got to type, type them in the thing over here. Okay. All right. Good. This is good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So let me give you this special super strategy for getting traffic ASAP. I'll give you the formula now. I'll give you the formula on how to maximize YouTube and create the perfect video that will generate traffic leads and sales for you. I'll give you the formula. Uh, I have more stuff I can show you with a how-to. I may do it in some later trainings. I'll give you the formula. Now I'm going to share it with you. Well, this is a bonus one. A secret strategy for getting traffic ASAP. This is a secret. So don't be telling anybody. All right? I need y'all to promise y'all not going to tell anybody now. Raise your hand if you're not going to tell anybody. All right? This is a secret strategy. And this is one of my five secret traffic getting strategies I use in video. There are five different uh, traffic getting strategies for video that I use. This is one. I'm, I'm going to give you one tonight. Only one. Don't ask for those. You know, one tonight. And this is a free one, <laughs> along with everything else. This works. This works. This works. And you know how to get traffic on autopilot? It's by doing reviews. This is one of my five. This is actually my fifth of, uh, out of my one of my five. And I'm going to show you proof here that if, if you do reviews on products or companies or something else, you would get so much traffic to your video. And then if you follow the steps in the video and do a proper call to action, like I can do a review or so, which I did. I'm, I'm gonna show. Matter of fact, let me show you this. Let me show you this. This here is a review I did on AT&T Universe. Just want to show you an example. Do you see how many views 
this thing here got. Let's see where that arrow is pointing at. I did a review on on AT and T Universe. It had nothing to do with my business, right? But I did a review on it. Uh, I got 1,715 views, and I didn't put no special SEO in this video. I put no special uh, ninja online marketing strategies that I know how to do to get more juice to the videos. Nothing. Uh, I got nine likes, but over over 1,700 views about 18 u verse And you know what I did? At the end of that video, I did a call to action telling folks how they can actually make money online by doing exactly what I just did. By doing a review of a company and how they actually can make money online just doing my simple video reviews like that. It, it, I, and I did a call to action. Now, so it works. Look how much traffic I got from this. I, I, I should. I did another one too. I did uh, one on, on, on a Mercedes. So I own a Mercedes, and I did a review on, on one of the cars. I should have put that on here. That thing got so much traffic, so much. So you could do a review on anything, a product or a service, and if you do a proper call to action in there, depending on what your product or solution is, you can generate so much traffic. This is just one. I have four other strategies that I use for getting a lot of traffic in my type, in the type of videos that I do, type of videos that I do. But this is one. I do reviews on, on companies. I did one the other day on another company. That thing got 130 views in one single day. It's all about knowing how to get traffic. So this that's one of my niche strategies there is doing reviews and that's the proof of what you can get with that. So what I need you to do right now, I mean was that was that good stuff? I mean was that good? Was that good? Uh, if, if, I mean if, if that was pretty cool, can you can you type in that was cool or, or raise your hand. Let me know if that was cool. Okay, that was cool. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Now I'll be asking questions here shortly. Uh, what I want you to do now, if you don't mind, if, 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 if you benefited from this tonight, I want you to connect with me. Uh, go on Facebook and go to facebook.com forward slash The Freedom Chaser. And if you don't mind, hit the like button there. And also, if you could post, you know, on my wall, you know, if you got any value out of tonight's training, I would appreciate that. And like I told you, this was no sales pitch training that I did. This is just for my subscribers, you know. Uh, so if you don't mind, go to my Facebook page here, facebook.com forward slash the Freedom Chaser. Hit the like button there and just post something on my wall if, if you got something out of tonight's training. If I benefited you, if there's just one thing you got, just please post, you know, if you got some value out of tonight's training. And I'm going to ask questions here shortly. And you can connect with me more. Like I said, I don't mind connecting with you. Uh, you can email me at chris at workwithchrisero.com or you can even call me. This is my direct line, 817-721-3367. Or if you're watching this, you're overseas, you can Skype me at Chris Harrell TX. Like I'm in Texas. Now, I have a lot of different trainings, uh, things of this nature. You know, if, if you want more information that I have available for like, training on online marketing or sales training, personal development, and leaps of trainings. Uh, connect with me either via email or, or you could call me. Or uh, if you would like to be able to see how you could sell the same training products and be able to earn, you know, 70 to 100% commissions while learning internet marketing, again, shoot me over an email at chris at workwithchrisero.com or you can call me at 817-721-3367 or Skype me. So if you want more information, if you, if you like this, you want more advanced stuff, more techniques, if you see something that can benefit you and your business, you want more you know, marketing training or sales training, things of that nature, just uh, connect with me and uh, I have a survey that, that can give you a better idea of what you're looking for. Or if you'd like to be able to sell these products as well and earn 70 to 100 commissions while learning online marketing, I showed you what it's done for me and uh, how it's changed my life. So connect with me either via email there or you can give me a buzz. Other than that, that's all I have for tonight. So let me ask you any questions. Let me go 
open up the panel here and let me raise this thing up because uh, was it worth the wait? Cool, cool. All right. If you have any questions, please uh, type in your questions here. Are there any questions? Uh, I don't know if I typed it in the right place or not. Was the audio good? Like I said, uh, was everything? Was it worth the wait? <laughs> Okay, well, any, any questions from anyone? Any questions? If we don't have any questions, then if you have any questions, type them in here now. I see a question here. Um, no, sorry, question. No question? Okay, I see a hand raised. It. Okay. Uh, all right, Tanji, you have a question? No, great webinar. Thank you. Thank you, D. Thank you. Worth the wait. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please, please let them know on Facebook and connect with me. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Any questions? Wow, no questions. Guess uh Simple, straightforward. Uh, when is the next training? I got a lot of value. Uh, Twana, awesome, awesome. Please uh, let them know on Facebook as well and hit my like button. Uh, next training, check your email. <laughs> I, I like to keep you in suspense. <laughs> so if you're on my list, you're my subscriber, just stay tuned. And Because uh, if I tell you, then you might not show up or you might expect to record it. And the only reason why I'm doing a recording tonight and going to share the recording tonight is because we had a delay. But I'm only going to do uh, my trainings live and I'm not going to share recordings with those who don't show up because I feel that, you know, if you show up, it tells me that you're serious and I want to share with you, you know, those who, who, you know, who really want to grow and, and whatnot. But tonight, since we had a 30 minute delay, I'm going to share this replay. So if you did miss anything at the beginning, uh, you should check your email tomorrow. It should be ready uh, tomorrow. And you can check the beginning. But just check your email and make sure you open up all my emails and uh, we'll go from there. So I appreciate that, Tawana. Uh, please uh, hit me up on Facebook, like my page, and uh, post on my wall that you got some tremendous value out of tonight's training. And if, if we are already Facebook friends, you can post on my friends on my personal page too, you know, what you got out of tonight. All righty. Well, any any other comments or questions? If not, then that's going to conclude it for tonight. I definitely appreciate you, those who are watching this live, for waiting the 30 minutes with the delay. Those of you who are watching the replay, uh, you still can do the same thing with my information here and connect with me. And as long as you're on my list, and already subscribe, you can expect to get great value from myself. So, other than that, this is Christopher Harold, aka the Freedom Chasers, signing off and that's it. Thank you guys for attending. And hey, let's get free. We all deserve a lifestyle of freedom. Don't give up on your dream. Go after it 100%. God bless. Talk to you later.